Hi, I'm York Bellsmith. I'm here with Andrew Hall and Matt Williams, who are the co-founders of Country Wild Music Fest. This year is their third festival. Uh, you started off in Victoria Park. This year is going to be a little bit different. The first two years in Victoria Park. Uh, Andrew, let's talk a little bit about the move to the CCC and how that came about. It was a big decision for us, York. We were looking at uh, an incredible venue down in Victoria Park at the waterfront. For the last two years, we got really lucky with the weather. Our events were bookended both years by pouring rain. So, you know, we, there's a couple of factors that were sort of presented to us this year in terms of um, weather issues, uh, not the least of which is the fact that we have several very talented American songwriters coming up from Nashville. And we can't book a rain date with these guys, right? So if we were going to have them perform and it was pouring rain, a lot of people would miss that show. We'd never get these guys back. It was really important for us to have some kind of guarantee with the weather. Uh, that, that was our primary reason. The second reason, of course, is that here in the CCC, we're available um, on multiple days. We can use this venue multiple days, so we're not limited to one day for the event. We're having a kickoff party on the Friday night before, which is going to be really cool, and it's because of having this venue here indoors at the CCC that we're able to do that. I want to talk to you a little bit about that Friday night kickoff and the lineup, but first, uh, just Andrew, one more thing for you about working with the town and the cooperation with the town that you've experienced uh, making the big move here. The town of Coburg has been extremely cooperative. We really have considered them a partner in this venture to move it into the Coburg Community Center. Uh, they uh, sat down with us when we expressed an interest of, of utilizing an indoor venue. They suggested the Coburg Community Center. They presented us with a whole bunch of options that we kind of looked at each other and said, we'd be kind of stupid not to, to take them up on this offer. And uh, their staff has been extremely cooperative. I want to thank Krista Williams for, for helping us get all of this together. And uh, yeah, nothing but good things to say about the way things have gone for us here. All right, let's talk about the festival, and it all yes. gets started on Friday, July 19th, with your kickoff event. Yeah, that's correct. So the uh, the kickoff event starts at seven. We have uh, four really amazing artists uh, coming up. Mackenzie Lee Meyer, she was one of our emerging artists last year. Uh, super, super talented. We have uh, Alessia Cole. Amazing, amazing artists from Mississauga. We also have uh, Kansas Stone, which have been a huge cr crowd favorite the last couple years. Uh, we knew we had to have them involved this year. They're, they're really good friends of the festival. They really make things work uh, from a publicity standpoint, too. And then uh, Bucky from the band Down With Webster. Uh, oh, back in the day, he's right. he's coming down. Uh, he's you know he's super excited. He's doing a, a strictly DJ set, but that it's going to be such a fun way to kick off Country Wild Weekend, and we're only we're a week out, and we're we're so excited. And the kickoff on the Friday night is happening here where we are now in the Grand Hall. Actually, it's it's happening in the arena. Oh, it's gonna be yeah, okay. it's in the arena. So we've uh, one of the decisions we made uh, last week is we we have this beautiful venue here at the CCC, and uh, really making sure we utilize it for for both days. Um, the production's going to be off the charts, and we're we're pretty excited. <laughs> I can imagine. And you got a big day on the Saturday now. It's not just about the festival itself and the entertainment getting started, but you also have this year a tailgate party that's taking place before. Absolutely. Yeah, the tailgate party, we're actually doing our emerging artists contest uh, starting at 1 p.m. at the tailgate party. Um, it's going to be it's going to be a blast. We're bringing in as of right now. There's six artists that are incredible. They're fighting it out right now as we speak uh, <laughs> to become you know the next emerging artist. I've been following along yeah. on social media and it is very competitive. Absolutely, yeah. And these guys, you know, three, four, five, actually all six of them are are six of the best right now. So we're we're pretty excited about having them. Um, one of the things we're also doing uh, with that emerging artist contest is the the winner has a song recorded by Grammy Award winner Jamie. Tate oh. out of uh, Nashville at Aruka Studios in Nashville uh, is produced Thomas Rhett, Taylor Swift, uh, Brooks and Dunn, all the all the big artists. So that's one one prize that has been really getting this thing going, which is pretty crazy. Uh, so that's yeah the tailgate party, and then we we've got a couple more artists. Uh, it's going to be amazing. Elise Saunders uh, from Peterborough area, uh, huge up and comer on the country scene. Uh, we also have Dean James, uh, who's going to be coming in and doing a, an, an acoustic set. And then we get right into the main event, which is Country Wild. It's, it's crazy. Wild. Absolutely, yeah. So that, that event starts at 3 p.m. And, and the notion this year is we're bringing three of the top country music songwriters in country music right now to Coburg, their first Canadian performances. Uh, which is off the charts. These are the guys that their uh, CJ was opening up for Leonard Skinner on their tour last year, uh, playing to 15, 20,000 people every single night. 
Uh, Ray Fulcher, uh, he's on tour with Luke Combs right now, so he's playing to 30,000 people each night. These guys are the next generation. They're all 25, 26 years old. In three years from now, they're being pushed in Nashville right, right now to become those next stars. So to have them for their first Canadian performances in Coburg is going to be off the charts. How receptive have the musicians been from day one when you guys got started? I know the, the feel backstage is just absolutely fantastic. Yeah, and that's, that's the whole premise that we really wanted to build this thing from the, you know, the foundation from the ground up. Um, putting that extra effort into the artists, knowing, being in that world myself for you know, a few years and understanding what, what goes into the travel schedule, all that stuff, uh, making it, you know, when these guys come to Coburg, they want to play, they're respected for the people that they are, they're not treated like any other event that's going on. Right. Um, and that's, that's the whole notion that we wanted to build this thing up from and it's, you know, the word's gotten out and a lot of people, the submissions we had this year to play the, play the event is, oh man, probably 600 artists that we haven't heard of before. Uh, so it's, it's creating a life of its own and we're really excited to be doing this in Coburg. So, you know, it's, it's going to be amazing. Andrew, let's talk to you a, a little bit about the VIP night and the day of, and just how everything's going to run, and, and if people want to attend, what do they need to do? Well, the cool thing about our kickoff party is that the VIP ticket that you buy from the main event gets you in for free. Um, if you don't have a VIP ticket, you can pony up to 20 bucks and come. 20 bucks for a Friday night party with amazing live music here in the CCC, that's a, a pretty <laughs> attractive offer. Uh, but it's worth coming to see these, these artists. Um, we're going to have lots of surprises at our show too. Uh, VIP experience, of course, includes front of stage access during the main event. So you actually have a, a fenced off section right in front of the stage just for VIPs. Um, we also have a special VIP lounge up in the, um, in the upper part of the bowl here at the community center that's set aside complete with private bartenders and all kinds of cool amenities. And there might be some giveaways too to VIPs. Uh, so, you know, if you're a big country music fan, you've probably already heard about these incredible up-and-coming songwriters that we've got. It's worth buying that VIP ticket just because you might get to rub some elbows. I, and I think, uh, you know, I don't, don't want to allude to too much here, but uh, there are going to be lots of opportunities for VIPs that general admission holders won't, won't be able to take advantage of. But it's going to be an amazing VIP experience. You know, you were asking Matt before about um, you know, what it was with these new artists and, and what was cool about it. And I think what's really important that Matt hinted on is the fact that when we sat down to plan this year's event, we decided that we were going to consider the fan experience as well as the artist's experience at, at our event. And I think that what's been really attractive to the musicians that we're bringing in about Country Wild is that we are really paying attention to them. We're really paying attention to their experience coming here, especially being in Canada for the first time. I mean, we're going to have to bring in poutine and all kinds of stuff for these guys, right? Uh, you know, <laughs> these guys are excited about coming here, you know? Um, so we're really all about that experience for not just the fans, but also the artists. And that's going to create for us um, the foundation for an exciting festival moving forward. A big part of being able to pull that off is having support from the community and volunteers. Oh, yeah. I, we couldn't do it without our volunteers, could we? I mean, if it weren't for the volunteers that we have in place, I mean, we've got volunteers, we've got volunteer coordinators, we've got people dealing with our money, we've got <laughs> so many people that we bring in, and, you know, not just family members, but people that we've just met, and they're really keen to be a part of this entire experience, and they've come in with their sleeves rolled up, ready to work, and it's really been amazing. The feeling of support, not just from the community as a whole, but from these specific individuals is second to none. Do you want to add to that? Yeah, absolutely. Uh, one thing too is the the sponsorships that we've gotten this year. It's right. you know completely amazing. Uh, we've actually got uh, Coburg Mazda. Um, they've come on board. They're a huge sponsor this year, which is you know amazing to have them on board. We also have uh, two Nashville-based companies, uh, Ruckus Room Nashville, which is uh, the studio where all the stars recorded at, um, and also Inside Music Publishing, which is based out of Nashville, right. Tennessee okay. as well. So we're we're going you know international sponsors, which is kind of interesting right. to bring them to Coburg, um, and and it's all based upon going with this Heart of Nashville theme. 
and and moving in that direction, bringing the top of the top, you know, new artists coming up to Canada. It's gonna be, I I'm already losing sleep over it. It's gonna be a lot of fun. <laughs> well, of course, and I'm sure that's been going on for a while. Yeah. All right, before we let you go, tickets. I know people are watching this and they, okay, I want to go. You convinced me. How do they get tickets? Right on our website. Uh, the links are right there. You can even get them via Facebook and social media. The links are everywhere. We're selling our tickets through Eventbrite.com, and they are an amazing company to work with. Uh, but if you go to CountryWild.ca. The, the button to buy tickets is right there. Absolutely, and just to allude on that too, there's we're limited right now, so we're we're getting down to crunch time. Tickets are selling fast, so we're advising people to you know buy in advance, uh, if possible, because we can't guarantee that there's going to be that many at the door. So, um, yeah, it's going to be super fun. <laughs> Andrew Hall, Matt Williams, thank you very much. Thanks, We're looking sir. forward to seeing you, you on the 19th and the 20th at the third annual Country Wild Music Festival this year here at the CCC.